When you're learning a song using capo, it's easy to enter notes in the spectrogram so that you can remember what notes you have heard. For example, listen to this guitar solo. While learning the solo, I could just slow down the music and play along with my guitar to figure out what I'm hearing. However, with capo's spectrogram, I can first spend some time identifying the notes without picking up my guitar yet. For instance, I can just click on the first few entries of the solo and then hear the notes that I'm seeing as I click them. Once I've verified with my ears that these are the correct notes, I can draw out the notes to record them as tablature below. On a guitar, the notes could appear in different places on different strings, so if I need to shift the entries around on the tablature, I could simply hold the Option key while clicking on the entry I'd like to shift. Alternatively, you can right-click on a note entry in the spectrogram and choose an alternate string position that way. To delete one of the note entries you put down, just click on it to select it and hit the Delete key. You can also hold the Shift key to select more than one entry. While selected, all the entries can be shifted at once. Or you can use the delete key to delete them. An even quicker way to select a group of entries is to hold the shift key and drag in the spectrogram to make your selection. Capo creates tablature for guitar by default, but it can also create tabs for bass, ukulele, mandolin, and banjo. To change the instrument for tabbing, first you will disclose the document settings and click the notes tab. Now, to change the instrument to bass, click on the Instrument Type pop-up button and select the four-string bass from the list. Note that you can also select different tunings for each instrument here, as well as choose a capo position to offset the tab and chord displays.